Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Hey guys, Jacob here. It is currently the 26th of May, 2020, and this is going to be this week's vendor reset. As usual, we're going to be starting at the base of ops at the front desk. And this week, he's selling a PP-19 submachine gun with SMG damage, crit chance, and rate of fire with close to personal. Would not recommend picking this up unless you need the talent to roll onto something else. Other than that, he's pretty much selling a purple and additional ordnance for the drone. Magnetic rail for the turrets, and that's about it for the front desk vendor. Next up is going to be the clan vendor. If you guys do not have access to this, I'd highly recommend joining a clan. That way you guys can go over here and buy the items that he is selling. But this week he's selling the grudge, which is going to be SMG damage, crit chance, and reload speed. This one's not great. Uh, it's above a little bit above uh, normal. But it's right in the middle with 10%, 13%, and you can change the reload speed if you wanted to. If you don't have it, I'd recommend picking it up this to add to your collection. Uh, but you guys can probably find a better one. And you do get this from completing Warlords New York and killing Aaron Keener. Next is going to be this hardwired holster, which you guys can change to whatever you want. From health to something like skill haste, where's the status effects. Ace and eight knee pads with weapon damage repair skill. True Patriot vest with weapon handling and armor, because it's very low. M700 Tactical with Naked, Damage to Armor, Headshot Damage, and Marksman Rifle Damage. X45 with Max Headshot Damage if you guys are looking for a pistol build with Headshot Damage. KSG Shotgun with Steady Handed, Rate of Fire, and Damage to Armor. Seska Mass with Weapon Damage, Weapon Handling, Repair, Skill, and Empty Defensive Mod Slot. Sober Knee Pads with Hazard Protection, Health, and 14.9 Weapon Damage. So if you guys are trying to make a crit style hazard build, uh, with still weapon damage on them, I'd highly recommend picking these up because they're almost max, and that way you could run max hazard, and you could have 10% and 15, almost 15% weapon damage for a crit build. Next is going to be the Raleigh's holding mass, 12.9 weapon damage, headshot damage, repair skill, and this explosive resistance max on these knee pads. So if you guys don't have them, I'd recommend picking them up. Utility protocol intensity with just skill duration. Chromatics training for the heal for the kill launcher. Mini electric motor for the radius for the seeker mine. And the like liquid nitrogen cooling system for the skill haste for the chem launcher as well. And that's going to be about it for the first two vendors at the base of ops. Alright guys, next up we have the campus settlement. And she is selling a ut utility protocol intensity mod for skill duration. Cooling vents for the stinger charges and the nickel chromium wire for the radius for the pulse. And that's going to be it for the campus settlement. Alright guys, next up we're going to start at the Dark Zones. We're at DZ West at the moment. Just a reminder, you need a different resource to buy things from this vendor and you actually can get them from deconstructing gear in the DZ or opening boxes around the map in there. But this week he's selling SASG with Vindictive, Ace and Ace Gloves with Weapon Damage and Health, Hardware Knee Pads with Explosive Resistance, Alpha Summit Knee Pads with Skill Damage and Headshot Damage, and that's really about it for DZ West. Alright guys, next up we're at DZ South. And she's selling a Carbine 7 with Overflowing. Ongoing Director Backpack, Armory Generation Weapon Damage. And a Hardwired Vest with Repair Skill. Heligar Chest Piece with Gunslinger. Offense System Dexterity with Crit Damage. Carbon Fiber Frame for the Drone. And that's going to be about it for DZ South. Alright guys, the last stop is going to be DZ East. Which this week she's selling an ongoing directive mass with weapon damage and crit chance. Any hardwired holster for skill tier and explosive resistance. Utility protocol intensity with skill duration. Backpack battery for the duration for the stinger hive. Or for the hive in general. And heating mantle for the pulse. And that's really going to be about it for the DC vendors. Next up is going to be Warlords New York. Alright guys, this week at the base of Ops in New York City, he's selling a SOCOM MK20 SSR with Reformation. Police 686 Magnum with Optimist and an Alpha Summit Gloves with Headshot Damage Grid Chance. Weather coating for the extra motor ammo. Unseeable Oscillator for the Cone Sides for the Pulse. And the Decoy Housing Shell for the Health for, uh, that is, the Decoy. 
Next up is going to be the final vendor, which if you guys take a left right here, then go straight, take a right, you will find Roy Benitez. He's selling a surplus S video strained. Handy U Corporation stats fix both resistance skill tier knee pads. Handy U Mats skill haste repair skills and skill tier. Utility system electronics for skill haste. Hard encasing for the skill haste for the Firefly, and that's going to be about it for the vendor resets. Overall, this week was pretty trash, but it is what it is. But thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content, and I'll catch you guys all later. BT